Paging Mr. Ellis. Paging Mr. Ellis. Boy? No, sir. Charles Ellis. Room 607. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Oh. All right. Uh, oh, what a tasteless thing to do. Fire! Fire! Damn it, fire! I'll take it, Lieutenant. It's hurt. Steady. Aim. Fire! Let's go. Ready. Aim. Fire! You know, I hear there's a street down there by the river that really lives. Oh, me for that. Me too. Well, I suppose he run away. Oh, you run into a bad one every now and then. Very the teacher. Not yet, Jake. Almost. Not yet, though. Nothing. Just have just have a few people over. Why don't you come on in? Harry. Listen, man, you gotta keep that goddamn friend of yours away from me, because next time I see him, I'm gonna bust him. Who oh, what? I don't know. Who are you Nick talking? Filbert. When did you see Nick? About ten minutes ago, man. He's crazy. He's trying to get me kicked out of the art department for subversive painting. I ain't nobody, dork. Right? Right. Hey, you see this Milner, you tell him I'm looking for him, huh? Hey, man, I'm sorry if I scared you. You're gonna have to do one hell of a lot more than that to scare me. Yeah, I've been looking all over for you, man. Didn't nobody tell you I was looking for you? Hey, hey, baby. What do you say? I understand. But he's not here this afternoon. Matter of fact, he's out of the country, and he asked me to get the tapes from you and give you the money. Don't get involved in this, Mr. Cole. These tapes are dangerous. Oh, it's a conventional wiretap, is it? Oh, excuse me. Surveillance and security technician. Fifteen thousand bucks. That's not bad for a day's work, is it, Mr. Cole? Fast chip. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? It's a ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parts, something. Well, he ain't gonna be around long enough to tell anybody about us. Yeah, get out that way. Looks like you managed to cut off our only escape route. Maybe you'd like it back in your cell, your highness. <laughs> You want a beer? No, I want to see the rabbits. You want rabbits? Yeah. We got rabbits. I don't hear from you for I don't know how long. You call me up, you show up here, you start telling me how to run my life. This ain't the army, you know. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Been planned down to the last detail. The last thing we need are a couple of passengers. Well, Major Mallory does have a certain amount of experience. I wouldn't doubt it. You came back from Miller, but you didn't come back from me, did you? No, we didn't. What happened to you? He bit me in all the excitement. But damn it, the hell, we <laughs> did it, Colonel! We did it! Yes, we did, Sergeant. Mr. Bus. I don't own a bus. I'll buy you one. Oh, how nice. A rich young. No, thank you. Well, if you don't want a bus, would you like a cup of coffee? Yes, sir. I'm sure that none of us would like to miss anything I have to add, sir, except I don't have anything to add, sir, so there's nothing for any of us to miss. Captain, have you ever seen this gentleman before? No, sir. Met the general or myself? No, sir. You've heard of Colonel Walter E. Kurtz? When you find the colonel, infiltrate his team by... <clears throat> whatever means available, and terminate the colonel's command. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? Now, I want you all to stay calm and listen, because I'm only going to say this once. How hungry are you? Uh, I'm pretty hungry. Put $200 <laughs> on the bar. <laughs> you know where the next one's going. Uh, we're trying to. What do you want me to do? Stop right here in the middle of the road? Don't you have any respect for the law? What do we got here? 
Looks like a narcotic substance to me. It's one lousy joint. You're under arrest, friend. Ah, oh, come on, man. You got nothing better to do than hassle long hairs. My life, friend. I love my work. Huh? Come on. You're imagining things. Am I? Then why are you following me? Afraid I was going to leave without giving you a goodbye kiss? I just assumed as a woman. I can arrange that. My song, my song. So what? Star Destroyer, Philip, cool, coming right at us. Sir, sir, Shut him up or shut him down. Without this, who can tell us about these markings? Meet me at Omar's. Be ready for me. I'm going after that truck. Oh, I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. Squid when I come in here, Brian. I'm twice as quit now. Wake up. Time to die. This is for Zora. This is for Chris. Who are you? Someone who loves you. How are we doing? Same as always. That bad, huh? You tell that slimy piece of worm-ridden filth to get no such pleasure from us! Quietly. There might be more of them out there. Hey, it's me. I don't want to go! You know how to fly, don't you? No. Do you? I'm all right, kid. Water! 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 Come on! The man that you saw. He was... my king. Was a black man? He had black skin? Gunshot wound. They have to make a report. And if they make a report, they find me. If they find me, they find the boy. Boo! Oh. 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 What are you gonna do, Paul? You gonna kill me? You gonna shoot me? You gonna shoot him? Nobody cares. I just work here. That's the attitude. We accept that things fall apart, but they don't have to. Yes, sir. They need to last sure. forever. We eat when we're not hungry, drink when we're not thirsty, we buy what we don't need, and throw away everything that's useful. Why, sir? Are you in charge now, Mother? If you are, just say so. Can you survive in this jungle? Can you get us out of here? Uh, you and your wife have been to Paris before? Yes, on our honeymoon. Did she seem to know him? Were they talking together? Did you notice anything else? Right, it was dope. What kind? Heroin? Cocaine? Opium? What do you care? It matters. I I've got the, uh, the thing you want. What do you want me to do? Go! Ah! Just go! No, I promised myself that when I saw you, I would get to know you. Good thinking. Well, I'll fly down to Memphis in the morning and feel them out. Can Big Jack come out to play? Yeah. Little Jack really has to get going. Little Katie's been so lonely. <laughs> no, no, no. That belongs in a museum. So do you. And who's going to come to save you, Junior? I told you. Don't call me Junior. Dad, 
We're well out of range. <laughs> Greer's a good investigator, but I'd rather have somebody on this than I've used to working with. The Prancer. The most damning testimony comes from an abused and frightened child who overcame his fear and his pain to tell you. And they were saying. But nobody could have prevented Mr. Matthews' suffering except Mr. Matthews. What a fucking day. Come on, give me your wine. Give me a break, will you? I just want a pack of cigarettes. Henry! Where were you? You bought a dog. Mom. I thought I could go back to my life, but I don't like who I was, Bradley. My hat in my hand. I don't give a shit whether you did it or not, and neither will anyone else. I mean, she was worth quite a bit of money. Are you suggesting that I killed my wife? Get out on your knees! Right now! Look, I'm a janitor. I do what I'm told. That's bullshit. Who changed those orders? I don't know what you mean. You switched the samples after Lentz died. You should let... Mysterious. Ooh. <laughs> I love the mystery. Even though the breeze comes from the general direction of the garage? How do you say, I'm looking at what I want? Whatever. Oh, oh. See, I told you, he loves her. Who? Sabrina. Is he packed? Yes. Is who packed? You are, just one bag. Wait a minute, you, you packed my clothes? You went to my apartment? I was your trip? Nice A long one, isn't it? Hi. Um. <laughs> Remember our indifference. The dead remember our silence. I came here tonight to be congratulated. You'd be playing right into his hands. Are you an idiot? You'd make him into a hero. The man who stopped the terrorists. Or better yet, the man who stopped me. He is the pilot. Well, if you're gone, we'll be 20, 30 minutes. Gotta get... You gonna stop acting like a lunatic? Fuck you! Pardon me? What'd you say? Your ass is too narrow and your tits are too small. I'm sorry. You're kissing me? No, it's for this. Ah! Are you really gonna shoot that old man? You had that shotgun pointed right at me. And what were you thinking you'd do about me? Well, at least you tried. Are you trying to be funny? No. Not anymore. Don't you fuck with me. If you don't like that word, don't use it. What I want, really, is just to find some way to let her go. You are so brilliant. Yep. Oh, Madame Curie, Jonas Salk, Norman Spencer. Yes. Claire. Claire, stop. You're overreacting. Don't 
tell me how to react. Will you keep your voice down? Please? I will not! I didn't think she'd go through with any of it. But then she... She disappeared. In the history of the Soviet Navy, no sailors have been given such a boat as K-19. These 120 men are a crew now because they achieved something together that they did not think they could do. Next time, when it is not a drill, they will go to the edge and past it and die if necessary because that... The reactor repair has failed. At any moment, we could have an explosion which could set off the warheads. Write this down. Cheeseburger, well done. All right. Police boots down! Get down. God damn it! Go! You got it. My cab. Get in the car! Police! Police! I am the police! She has beautiful eyes, your daughter. We like it. Calm down, we can you get us. the money when I get my family. Tomorrow morning when the banks open, I'll let you know where. Yeah, I'll be there. Put the dumb gun. You got it, pal. There must have been plenty of women for you over the years. There were a few, but they all had the same problem. Yeah, what's that? They weren't you, honey. You better do it before they blow the lunch whistle. All right, let's go, compadres. Let's do it. Let me tell you about my father great American to be. I was wondering why I wasn't in her personal effects envelope. She be scoffed. She got her in me going. You better get yourself a good criminal attorney counselor. You're gonna need one. Asshole. Asshole. Nobody's paying attention to this work. Half my grants don't get approved. I don't have the money to make my theory into a usable medicine. I don't care about money. I'm a scientist. I care about more important things than that. It's a sugar high. <laughs> the enzyme's breaking down the sugar in their muscles. The medicine's working? Yeah. <laughs> then why are you here? <laughs> well, it's funny that you should ask. Go away. Your program is in the news department, you cretin. News is a sacred temple. And you're part of the cabal that's ruining it with horseshit. Suppose I don't have standards? Sure you do. When you got your pap smear on air, you wore a silk robe. Okay! Let me tell you how it turns out. You end up with, with nothing. Nothing. I figure you owe me. I don't see it that way. Well, maybe that reward on your head would be a more attractive proposition. Or I could just shoot you in the chest and cut that thing off your arm. I'm gonna bring a Negro ball player to the Brooklyn Dodgers. I want a player who's got the guts not to fight bags. You can get out there and hit. You can get on base and, and score. You can win this game for us. There was something unfair at the heart of the game I loved, and I ignored it. Well, let's put together a team for Adam. Design, engineering, and we'll see if we can get some DOD funding. Issues? Well, huh? it's not the roof that matters, Adam. It's the warm, fuzzy feeling of the home under it. Shut up, Adam. You're nothing but a convenient tool, an empty vessel. 
I filled you with piss and vinegar and told you it was champagne and you lapped it up. I've watched through his eyes. I've listened through his ears. And I tell you, he's the one. We threw everything we had at the invaders. And in the midst of that decisive battle, a legendary hero emerged. When the war is over, we can have the luxury of debating the morality of what we do. When it's over, what will be left of the boy? What does it matter if there's nothing left at all? I've gone through four wives. I have six or seven kids that I haven't got the time to tell I love them. And you, Mr. Burgundy. I'm going to be the first lactose intolerant anchor. Mr. Burgundy. Yes. <laughs> You're fired. Come again. Fired. Well, you see, there's the thing. When there's an early moon, I almost feel like a stallion again. I don't give a shit what his name is. I don't like him. I want him as bad as you do. This happened on my watch. You fucked up. This is it? This is your evac team? Short notice. Yeah, very short. Where's your team, Major Drummer? No team, this one's off the books. I'm not even here. You got a tank problem, pal. Do something about it. I'm on it. Trench, on your right! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... You look exactly like this old friend of mine, um, Adeline Bowman. The scar. The same scar. I stitched it myself. That I could have no greater ambition in life than to, than to be the best possible husband I could be for her. And I'm still working. <laughs> Where's the pilot? I'm the pilot. You? No, it's true. We're the only ones on board. You can understand that thing? And that thing can understand you too, so watch it. Come on out of there. It's true. The Force, the Jedi. All of it. Hey, can I try that? I like this thing. The longer we're here, the less luck we're gonna have. The shields. I have an idea about that. He reads. That's good. Me too. How much else to do around here at night anymore? Look, I don't want to hurt you, but you're not making it easy. They know you're here. I came alone. So does Deb. Kylo Ren is dead. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. You do. That's mine. Hey. Thanks. Fuck! That's it. What's his name? Hey! The river ice is gonna break up any minute, you fool! The dog is trying to help you keep your life! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Still the same dog with me. But I find it hard to imagine him back in civilization. 